Uh, but she will not indeed be facing Alexa Bliss at SummerSlam next Sunday for the Raw Women's Championship. Instead, it's either going to be Sasha Banks or Nia Jax, who both won triple threat matches on Raw this past Monday to advance to a number one contenders match to Raw this coming Monday. It's got to be Banks. Nia Jax, just, she's been, you know, she she can be good. She's not quite there yet. She friggin' injured Bailey. Like, she's not all that safe in the ring. I think that much is evident based off her main roster run so far. She almost, ki- she almost killed Charlotte in their match a couple months ago. Completely reckless. Anyway, the two women's matches on this show were not good. Uh, the first one was pretty sloppy. Alicia Fox, I have no idea why she's still on the roster. That's a real question, by the way. She's not... Okay, she's she's pretty bad. She's only digressed in the ring. Like, how does that even happen? Like, she's somehow gotten worse in the ring. And Emma's great. And in a match with Alicia Fox, you have Emma take the pinfall loss. Like, what the fuck? Like, Emma is one of the best people on that roster. And I saw so many people on Twitter and across the internet on Monday night during this match, during Raw on Monday, saying Emma winning this match would be a breath of fresh air. It would be really cool. Maybe she doesn't win, you know, the number one contenders match, but how many times have we seen Sasha Banks and Nia Jax? Like, really? We've seen it a million fucking times in 2017. I don't care. Like, I like Sasha Banks. I think Banks and Bliss make sense for SummerSlam. They have unfinished business from Great Balls of Fire, but why not have Emma win the other triple threat match? And I get Nia Jax was the one that put out Bailey on the shelf. But isn't it funny that Nia Jax injures the number one contender? I'm not saying she should be, like, fired or anything, but... And accidents happen. I guess that was because it was an accident and the Emma thing wasn't. Like, Emma's gone on Twitter before, like, railing the women, the women's division on Raw, saying, I don't get any chances, we see the same faces. And look at that, the same exact thing that Emma was complaining about on Twitter is happening next week. We're getting Sasha and Nia again. Like, at least have Emma be in the number one contenders match to at least make it seem like she had a chance to win this match. And what blew my mind was that she was the one who tapped out here. And she had a really good showing. She had one great near fall on Alicia Fox where she, like, turned her inside out and it looked like she had the match won. But Alicia kicked out, unfortunately, before Emma could get the three count. But it just, it blew my mind. In a match involving Alicia Fox, of all people, you would have Emma take the pin. That really bothered me, because she's one of the best they have, and I, I would not be shocked if she just up and left at some point. Quite honestly, I mean, I don't know if she'd be a valuable asset to GFW or Ring of Honor or whatever, but Emma's great. Like, it really dawned on me. I mean, this has been, you know, apparent for a long time now, but I was texting RJ back and forth during this match, or after the match was over. It's like, what the fuck? It's like she has been so underutilized, criminally underutilized for so many years now. At least Luke Harper, another guy who has been like MIA from SmackDown for months now. But um at least he's been on TV. Like he he got a push last year or earlier this year. It feels like last year, but it was only a few months ago. Emma's never really gotten a stable push. Like ever. Like she was great in NXT both times when she was there initially as a baby face, and then when she went back in 2015. They called her back up because they needed her, and also because she was doing great work on NXT. They figured, let's give her another chance. And she was about to be pushed before she got hurt last year, but the whole Emmalina thing was a complete waste of time. She was out of t- off TV for like eight months, and only for a few of those months was she actually hurt. It was a complete waste. So I guess we'll see where they go with this. Uh, with, with Banks and Nia, I guess, I assume Sasha wins. I don't know if she wins at SummerSlam. I would assume she will, because if Alexa Bliss retains, what else do you do if Bailey's out right now? You know, I assume Sasha wins. But, um, yeah, just Emma is so underrated. Like, she is so fucking good as a character and as a wrestler, and we have been given no reason to care about her. But those that know what she's capable of know how she's being wasted right now. So, again, hopefully at some point... And she's hot, too! Like, that's that's not even... It's not like, oh, she's a great wrestler, but she's not that hot. It's like, she's fucking gorgeous. So, maybe at some point she'll get her due. It's been three years. She has yet to get a real run on the main roster, so... I don't see it in the cards anytime soon, but we can only hope, I, I guess...